a lot of you are probably getting ready to you know weed and clean up your florida garden however i wanted to show you some host plants people recognize as weeds that are also host plants for butterflies this plant right here that i'm touching is rough scale seed this is a host plant to the eastern black swallowtail and is a native host plant many people look at it and are like what is this thing it's super sparse a common uh host plant that is seen throughout all yards even people that get mowed it's pretty aggressive this is cyta or also known as fan petal it is a host plant to the tropical skipper um, so if you see this in your yard flowering you don't have to get rid of all of it it is aggressive so i get that all right so right here i have pepperweed which is a host plant to the great southern white and checkered white butterflies because of this plant we get a huge spring migration of great southern white and checkered white butterflies it is an edible plant and it is medicinal However, it is a part of the mustard family. So if you do eat it, it has a very pungent flavor. You could probably use it to toss it in salads a little bit or, you know, crush it up into a paste, maybe even put this on wings. I've been saying that for a while now. But yeah, it's aggressive. So um, it does reseed readily aggressively. Um, so if you just keep a little bit of small patches in your yard, then you can help be ecologically beneficial by keeping this plant in your garden. Another plant that people confuse as weeds, corky stem passion vine. This plant, you will typically see it in your shrubs and bushes because this plant produces berries that birds love and enjoy. But this is a host plant to the zebra longwing, gulf Larry, and julia butterflies. This little plant that people think is a weed is hosting three different species of butterflies and allows food for birds. Definitely keep corky stem passion vine in your yard. It's amazing. Right here, I have cudweed. Cudweed is a very aggressive native plant that is a host plant to the American lady butterfly as well as a few moths. So if you see this in your yard, just like some of the rest of them, it's aggressive, but it is a host plant to the American lady butterfly. I keep small patches of this in my yard as well. Um, it does grow in like full sun and part shady areas, but this is just another crazy plant people think is a weed um, and they get rid of it when they could be hosting more butterflies. You guys might call me crazy for this, but I absolutely love this plant. This amazing plant is purple thistle, Circium heridulum. This plant is an amazing nectar source and hosts two different butterflies, the American Lady and the Metal Mark Butterfly. The blooms are a beautiful, they're purple. Um, once they're spent, the birds will use them for seed heads and many different other animals and wildlife actually use this plant as a source of food. See right here, this is toad flax. It is a native host plant to the common buckeye and some other lepidoptera like moths will actually use this plant. It has these nice lavender to bluish blooms on it. It is a annual, you will only see it in the springtime. So if you wanna add more butterflies or attract more butterflies, definitely keep this cute little toad flax in your yard. So right here in my hand is plantain. This is an annual host plant that hosts four different butterflies. American lady, common buckeye, white peacock, and phaon crescents. It's an annual and there are other host plants that will host these butterflies, but this one is another good one to attract more butterflies. A giant swallowtail nectaring on my pentas. How cute. This plant right here that a lot of people call a weed is frog fruit. Frog fruit is an amazing, easy host plant that you can add to your yard. It hosts the common buckeye, white peacock, and phaon crescent butterflies. This plant is evergreen and will give you fall colors and blooms year round. This plant can be used to replace your grass and is drought tolerant. I love this plant. Definitely add frog fruit. Cool, interesting plant called Florida Pellatory. Because of this plant, we get a spring migration of red admiral butterflies that's bigger than any time of the year here in Florida. This plant is edible and it acts more like a ground cover that loves moist areas. So with this plant, if you want to see the red admirals, they usually curl themselves up and tie themselves up in the leaves to hide from predators because of how tasty they are. But yeah, I would definitely keep some small patches of Florida Pellatory for red admiral butterflies. 
This plant right here, I'm sure you've seen it everywhere called um, Spanish Needle or Beggar's Tick. It does have those crazy seed heads that will get on your clothes and stick to them. Um, but this is actually a host plant to the Dainty Sulfur. So if you want to have more butterflies, you can definitely keep Biden's Alba in your yard. I keep patches of Biden's Alba in my yard because it is the top third nectar source for our Florida native butterflies. They rely on this plant because it is a year-round blooming plant unlike a lot of other plants plants and it's an aggressive grower so you'll see it in disturbed sites all right guys so that's gonna sum it up for plants that are weeds that are also host plants and it's just so cool to me that there are so many different plants so many people don't even know about or are aware that actually help our wildlife out who knew that all those plants that people call weeds are actually hosting butterflies but anyways remember your time will come to finally be a butterfly